Next, I would like to introduce to you Sister Amina Silmi. Sister Amina is a renowned speaker in the Muslim community, and she reverted from her Baptist upbringing to become a champion of Islam. And the story of how she came to Islam Sorry, this, the story of how Sister Amina reverted to Islam is actually a very moving story and has touched the hearts of many Muslims and non-Muslims alike. She is also a very passionate speaker about family issues, and today she will be speaking about the impact of Muslim women in America, and this is a topic that she has discussed on various occasions, and it's a topic that really reaches home to many people, and is a topic that she's very passionate, and she's a very powerful speaker on this topic, so please welcome Sister Amina. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. MashaAllah, that was not bad. Now, as far as how we can impact, oh, we can and we do impact, not to the level that I would like to see. But I've been a Muslim for 24 years and I see that there has been progress made. Um, a lot more progress needs to be made. There's no question about that, but some progress has been made and will continue to be made only if we truly adhere to the Quran and Sunnah. That means that we must apply Quran and Sunnah to every aspect of our existence, every aspect. No, no area is too small or should be ignored. We are, as Muslims, called on to always enjoin the right and forbid the wrong. We should never just sit quietly and let things happen. We absolutely cannot sit back and complain about what happens. We have no right to complain. We make a difference. The International Union of Muslim Women has a, a motto we say Muslim women making a difference. That's who we are. We make a difference. When we see something and we don't like the way it is, we change it. And that's how every Muslim is supposed to be, male or female. We have a lot of cultural ideas that have polluted our practice of Islam. We have a lot of ignorance, actual ignorance, that affects the way that we present Islam to people. And when we talk about having a, a truly dynamic impact on people, making an, an, a statement, making a change, then we have to get serious about how we relate to them and how we explain things to them. Now, in the Quran, it says that we should speak to people in the best way, in the way that they would understand. And you consider that when you're starting to talk to people. And yes, I'll talk about hijabs, so relax and quit grinning. <laughs> I'm sorry, a lot of the sisters have been pressuring me here to talk certain subjects, and, and so I am going to present to you perhaps what may be a different way that you may present Islam to people when you're talking about presenting here. And it has um, a very definite and very strong impact.